running. I got fished off. It was the last thing that I wanted. And now things are going to get really... Oh, come on, run. That poison is devastating. And that spider will probably kill me. Get inside. Whoa. Okay. That was a little close. What am I saying? That was a lot close. Nothing in here? No? We're just going to hide around the corner. Uh, as it stands, let's have a snack. And considering I know now that there's nothing in here, I think I prefer to be on the side of two gates and around a corner. G'day folks, this is Sim. Welcome back to Minecraft Done From Down Under. More specifically, welcome to Jaded Cat's Magic Farm 3. Magic Farm 3 is a survival modded pack and it's a pack that's designed to kill you very much in the vein of blood and bones um, however uh, jaded's packs are just a little bit more insane than other packs so this one's going to be interesting to say the least now i don't want to chat too much because we have a very limited amount of time and we need to get moving so we're going to do that straight away the first things that we need to be aware of uh, um, hunger uh, is an issue here so we want to avoid jumping and running as much as possible uh, we also need to be aware of the fact that everything wants to kill us that includes the pigs and the chickens and the cows and the sheep and they will kill um, they don't do a lot of damage they're not that tough but early on in the game when you're soft and squishy and where are we going to go? Good question. I really don't want to go back up now that I've come down. Uh, we're going to go over here. And the reason for that is going to do have to do a little bit of jumping. Food. Food's going to be critical. So that is a Pam's Harvest Craft gourd garden, and I've obviously got a little bit of lag while the world loads in. Yep. Hopefully this will sort itself out once things have had a settled chance to settle down on the new world but for now let's just grab this stuff so where are we going to go uh, let's just nothing else down there let's just have a look I was sure I saw some stuff nope okay let's just have a quick look at the map while we're in a clear space and alright so we've got a Magical forest over here, flower forest uh, through here, and some snow and some hills over there. Let's go and have a closer look over here. Be careful, we're getting close to those pigs. Okay, that looks interesting and it gives us some high ground with a bit of a view. Let's head down this way, and again, we'll be careful. Um, as I was saying, the pigs and the cows and the chickens by themselves um, aren't that bad. Ah, oh, okay, clay. We need that. That's critical. So I'm going to stop right here, and we're in a, a, an open area with nothing close by. So let's just take out some trees, grab some wood, standard minecraft start however one of the first things you're going to find is is that you can't craft basic tools we're going to need to go the tinkers construct route and looks like that tree is going to have to come out too I actually want a fair amount of wood to get started preferably about 20 logs will be enough to get me going although I'd like a little bit more but we do have to watch time because things get rough real fast. Okay. Now why are you not breaking? Oh, because there's a birch tree in there. Alright, well we're not going to worry about mixing logs at the moment. We'll just keep grabbing the oaks. Maybe we will be lucky enough 
to get some apples. The more food we can get early on the better because um, hunger overhaul is in this uh, so food can get really rough really really quickly. Uh, so I'll grab a couple more. Now uh, I am hoping to get two new modded Minecraft series up and running very soon. Um, the first one is this one here, the second one um, if it ever shows its face it's going to be blood and bones uh, and they're probably going to be running concurrently because I really have been missing Minecraft quite a bit uh, however that does not mean that seven days to die is coming to an end I'm waiting now for the next update to come out and hopefully that won't be too far away um, but as far as Alpha 10 is concerned we've pretty much reached the limit the last thing that we were left off doing was just searching for a few bits and pieces and that's taking a lot longer than I would have liked so um, at the moment there's been nothing to show I mean I can do some pretty stuff on the base there but that's about as far as it's going to go uh, could you please stop pushing me in here at the moment? I'm a little busy. Okay, so how much gravel have we got? Okay, so that's 21 gravel, which is going to give us seven, f nine flint, because we've got a couple of extras. Uh, let's just throw this in here. And I think that will do for now. 18 logs. I do want some more logs. Uh, there's a squid down there. Okay, um... Let's beat this poor fellow to death simply because. Come on. You get calamari from squid, and that's going to be important to us. Let's throw this stuff up here because these normal flowers I really don't need right now. So I'm going to need every ounce of space I can get. So let's just throw these down here. and they're going to pick up more as we roam around of course because a whole bunch of them have fallen off and let's just take out a couple more trees there's also some squid over there near where we're heading which is a good thing now I have had a bit of a play around just to get a feel for this pack because it's very new it's still in early beta um, there's a lot going on um, it does have HQM quest mode, however it's still only very early and there's very little that's actually been implemented. Um, we do also have um, uh, hardcore questing which I need to turn on and we'll do that shortly as well. But once we've found somewhere we can settle down, I think that's probably going to be the way to go. Okay, 29 plus an apple and some more saplings. That should get us started. Let's just see if there's anything around here that's dropped. No. Okay, so let's continue around this way. The other thing that's critical right now is we need some sheep. So let's head our way along here. What have we got there? Pear tree. Um, I wish I had a little bit more time, but I don't, so I'm going to play it safe. Now, okay, so the squid are over there. Definitely want to take a few of them out. Okay, so there's some sheep along here. Uh, let's go see if we can kill a couple of squid without drowning. Just see if we can get a little bit more to eat. Although at the moment, the time it's going to take to beat on them with a sapling, it may not be worth the effort. Did we get any more calamari that time? No, we didn't just the ink sack from the looks of things let's kill a couple more we'll take our chances we can get them trapped against something they should die a little quicker like that that's better that's three Look, that'll do need to save our energy you'll notice now that my hunger is going down uh, and if I'm not careful I'm gonna be in a bad way uh, now clay is going to be really important to us too 
right now, where are those sheep? There they are. You guys, I know you want to... Oh, look at those. Oh, oh, okay, that was unexpected. I didn't see him coming. Hopefully we can use the water to our advantage here. But again, you can get overwhelmed just by getting lots of little hits from these guys. And in the early game, it can get pretty rough. So we're just going to beat everything to death with a sapling and try not to get killed. And try not to drown in the process because I have to move quickly and I really, really, really need this wool. Plus I'll get something to eat off these guys as well. Okay, you must be almost dead. It's one down, two down, three down, and lastly you. Die, 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 die. Okay, so what did we get? We got some mutton and we got the wool that we needed and I can hear a zombie okay he's obviously down below somewhere alright how are we doing for time okay the sun is heading down we need to be careful so let's quickly kill this fella come on you die did you drop any no you rotter how about your mate will you die for us Okay, you drop some food, and you too. I want you to die. It's very important that you die, and that you die quickly. Don't run away from me. I'm about to starve to death. Uh, another thing, uh, starving. There is no warning. If my hunger hits zero, I'm a dead man. So, let's see what we've got here. I want to try and save what I can for seeds. Uh, however, I can eat one of the cucumbers. I can't eat the zucchini and the cucumber because they're both classed as green veggies. Although at the moment we've got diminishing returns, so we've still got a little bit of time. I might actually take advantage of that. And I'll keep one of each of those. We'll get them into us anyway because we're not actually going to get a penalty until we get to six then we need to start rotating foods not you because I want to keep one of you okay so that gets our hunger bar up a little bit um, that mushroom over there would prove to be very useful but the sun is going down we need to get under shelter fast and we need to get some stuff done so let's head up here Let's have a look at what we've got around. Okay. I've got pigs over there who are going to be problematic. That little pillar could be useful or up top there. What's down here? Okay. Well, this looks promising for tonight anyway. But do I have time to grab some dirt? because right now is there any dirt around here? yeah here we go hopefully that pigs, those pigs don't see us I just need enough to wall myself in that should do the trick I think so let's head back down here and let's just bang a couple of those in there Alright, now it's probably going to get dark. Hopefully nothing can get through there. Let's just give ourselves a little bit of space to play with, shall we? Okay, hopefully nothing can spawn. Let's, let's have a quick look and see what's around here, shall we? Just see if there's anything I need to be afraid of. No. Okay, that's promising. Alright, so that being the case, if I close this off, it's going to get quite dark. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, where am I going to do this, though? 
right here. Okay, so we need wood. Uh, we're going to need to keep a few logs. So let's go with, say, 16. And we're going to need to make up some sticks. Again, oh, 16, 32. Yeah, that should be enough, hopefully. All right, we are going to need to make up probably eight of the patterns and then we need to do the standard tinkers stuff so uh, I am going to need probably two crafting tables and we're gonna go with the half size ones no 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 we'll go with what we've got here so I want tool station thank you for the new books and I want that crafting bench I also require a part builder and what's the other one that should be it a stencil table and we're going to need a chest which means we need to get this other crafting station down Let's just bang it in this corner here for now. Sorry it's so dark, but until we can do something useful, we're not going to be going very far. So let's get this as down as quick as we can. And if we whack in the stencil table, and the tool station, and the part builder, and then throw ourselves a chest, and of course we're going to need another stencil. So the pattern chest, which we should actually be able to throw up there. It'll do for now. We can still access this. So, stencil table, standard stuff. We've got four patterns. We are definitely going to need a tool binding, a shovel head, an axe head, and a pickaxe head. We're not going to worry about weaponry straight away, simply because we're going to make a mattock and a mattock is not a bad starting weapon uh, so we will do the standard stuff now tools uh, you can see the materials here at the moment we don't have access to a lot we can't use stone uh, we don't have access to paper uh, so we're just going to be doing the very basic stuff here um, I know it says stone there but trust me it's not going to work um, well actually, oh I don't actually have access to stone anyway what I need instead is, let's grab the sticks and we're just gonna, yeah that's all we really need to do wood binding and then the flint it's gonna give us a shovel head an axe head and a flint pickaxe head okay and that should do the trick then the next thing that we need is we need the tool station so we can start off with our pickaxe and most importantly the mattock which is going to give us an axe, a shovel and a weapon all in one. The only downside to the mattock, oh it also functions as a hoe, the only downside to the mattock is, is that it doesn't work very well on gravel or sand, it's more for clearing dirt, but that's okay. Right now it doesn't matter that much. Now the next thing that we need to do before we go any further is we need a bed. So that's why we went chasing the wall the reason we need the bed is for this little thing up in the corner up here. We need sleep. Without sleep, um, we are going to suffer. We're going to suffer quite badly. So we're going to whack that down there and we're going to sleep. And you'll notice at the end the little black diamond in there goes up a little bit. Um, and 
that means that we're doing okay. If it gets completely to the uh, far left, then we do actually have major problems. Uh, we can uh, get affected by blindness uh, and a few other negative effects. Uh, which is going to make life really, really, really hard. So you need to sleep. Uh, that's eight stone, which will give us enough. Actually, let's grab a little bit more. I'm almost starved to death, but I really, really, really want to do this the best way I can. So that means taking the time to get this extra stone so that we can give ourselves a few slabs make up a slab furnace throw that down anywhere we'll do right now because we need to do this before we starve to death I'll eat one apple just to make it safe and let's have a look at our food situation so you can see that if we eat that again we're only going to get half for it and it's eaten once out of the last six foods the green vegetables on the other hand five times and five times um, I can't eat those again the winter squash on the other hand is not a green veggie so that's fine same now the cantaloupe was fruit and because we've eaten ap apples we can't eat the cantaloupe however we do have some meat here so let's get this cooking up and we'll get at least one of these into us I don't really want to waste too much if I can because we've got a couple of other options so that one's almost done and what we might do is come on alright we'll grab these we'll throw the calamari in there and while that calamari is cooking up I just want to get a little bit more stone just in case I need it uh, I'm tempted to pick up my bed the part daylight is passing upstairs at the moment so we do need to get out of here um, but I don't really want to move my bed now that's salt that's going to become very important so we will grab that as well that calamari is almost done and I, the other thing that I want to do is I want to be able to make some torches so what have we got here I kept some wood back we'll go with uh, hang on it will go with nine if I can get my numbers right take the calamari out take the wood out oh, not the wood you're an idiot Glenn come on quick 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 just give me the coal right that should cook the rem remainder up uh, and we're going to leave that and maybe yeah maybe just to play it safe we'll grab one and very quickly make up four torches so that we can at least light this area here up uh, let's do an F7 and check now we've got a spawning space there so we'll move that torch uh, we've got a spawning space down there which we can fill with a piece of cobble and uh, spawning space there and just to be extra safe we'll throw one of these in here which hopefully should cover right terrific okay so we'll leave them to go let's get out of here and let's get some stuff done before it gets dark and again I need to eat so we need to find more food sources uh, so first things first we can eat one of the calamari 
and I think the next thing we need to do is head over here and grab some of these mushies because mushrooms are always good we probably need to make up some bowls um, but we should be able to cook these as well considering the mods so let's let's take out let's take out one of each and hopefully we'll do okay Uh, we've only got squid around us at the moment, so we're doing well as far as mobs are concerned. Hopefully we might get lucky over here and find some more uh, Pam's Harvest Grass Gardens. I'll take you, and I'm definitely going to take you. Oh, I'm really suffering here. I need to get some food into me fast. So, unfortunately I can't actually eat the mushrooms. I don't think they're edible by themselves. I need to make mushroom stew or roast them or something. Let's just grab what we can. We'll force down some of the other stuff if we have to, but I really want every seed I can get early on in the piece so that we're not struggling too much. So what did we end up with there? We ended up with 9 and 14. Okay, that's not too bad. <sighs> I've got nothing else here. I can eat the squash. So again, we'll get a little bit into us. Let's just have a quick look around. All of this jumping. Ah, oh, that's what we were looking for. Berries. And now I'm running out of space. Okay, so we'll eat one of the strawberries. Oh, it's fruit. Ah, that does not help our cause. Anything else around here that looks edible? Kill that sheep, but we've already got mutton. However, you're by yourself at the moment, so let's draw you over here. Simply because a little bit more mutton's not going to hurt. And now that we've got the mattock, we can actually do some more serious damage. Now you'll notice that we got a raw hide out of that. Uh, that's going to prove to be very, very helpful. Let's get these flowers out of the way because they're just going to cause problems. And I think what we will do, sun's going down again. Let's head back over here. And what did I just pick up? I don't know. Hopefully a mushroom. Let, let's head over here. Let's see if we can kill a few of these pigs. And possibly make ourselves a little shelter I'm so close to dying so I'm gonna get half value out of that and half value out of that but I don't have any choice I'll eat one of those and I'm now why is it saying oh okay 60 I'm still getting okay so it's not too bad let's kill the pig because that will give us pork which will give us another f different food source come on you come over here let me kill you don't don't hit me and you and your mate okay so that's some pork Alright, and I think that this is, whoops, oh, okay, didn't see you guys coming, oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear, one more hit and I'm dead, oh, okay, that was dangerous, uh, I need to get in, hopefully without this pig killing me, into here, so... Uh, he's probably going to kill me because I'm so slow at the moment. 
Why can't I hit him? Come on, come back up here so I can kill you again. Before things start to spawn. Okay, fine. Can I get in here without dying? Alright, well, this was the objective. So, what are we going to stick down here in the way? The wool. And let's just hollow out and get around the corner before we actually do get killed. Okay, and I think this is going to be our little nest. We should be able to get set up inside of here. It's not large, but it will do for a start. Okay, so we hit dirt right there. We go this way. We've got stone. Now we are going to have bad stuff turn up fairly soon, so... I don't really want to be seen. What I'm going to do is, I think folks, that we've probably hit the wrapping up point anyway. Um, I am safe in here as long as nothing can see me, so I'm not going to be able to sleep. I left the bed behind, but it's going to be dark in here, um, and I'm going to have to dig some area out, uh, so I think I will do that, and I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Um, look forward to seeing you then. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and until then... Take care of each other, everybody, and ciao for now.